Hey, this is Casey over at Schaefer Chevrolet here in Pin Conning. This here is our 2008 Cadillac Escalade, and it's going to do a little walk around video. I'll give you an idea about the you know, overall general condition of this vehicle, and um, just so I can get a little more in depth. I know you couldn't really be here today, but I want you to have a good idea of what this Escalade's all about. So I'm just going to start with the exterior. Um, you know, I'm just looking for anything like dents, dings, scratches, scrapes. You know things of that nature that I can point out to you you know being that it's a 10 year old vehicle I don't expect it to be perfect um, there's just a little spot there on the tail on the bumper looks like just a little bit of discoloration um, as far as rust starting it's not bubbling or anything uh, I don't like feel any paint like chipping or bubbling that's something we might be able to uh, get worked on in the body shop um, so it can be sealed off and protected because uh, I know it has not been through the uh, the body shop just yet so um, again any anything you know just little things here and there we would have considered in the pricing um, if if it's just you know something that we will not take care of um, and I believe this vehicle was I don't know it's several thousand dollars below uh, NADA retail price Good look at the tires here and the tread that's on them Tires for now um, You know, there's definitely Somewhere on the tires. However, I don't think they would need to be changed immediately just based on You know what I'm looking at so we got an arm on the passenger side and um I mean, overall, there is, you know, some wear and tear, because again, it is a, a 2008, but just trying to get up under here. This is the, uh, the rocker panel. It's tough to get you a real good picture only because there's a running board here. I'm gonna get up underneath the vehicle now. Just kind of pan around. Some surface rust. It looks like there was probably some undercoating on this vehicle at one point. Um, you know, it would need to be undercoated again because it's, you know, essentially uh, worn off. But for a 2008, it's, you know, that's what I would expect to see. So again, there's a little bit of, little bit of spots here and there, but nothing out of the ordinary for the year. I'm gonna pop the the lift gate here. It is an automatic lift gate, which you know doesn't surprise me, being that it's a Cadillac. Of course, you got the third row seating back here, um, and I'm gonna start. Or next, I'm gonna go inside, and of course, you can remove these seats, um, as you see here with the handles and the levers and everything. Um, let's press that button for the auto lift gate. Little bit of rust underneath of the lift gate. And then you see the door here. Little spots here and there. Nothing uh, nothing too crazy. Like I said, it hasn't uh, gone to the body shop to my knowledge. So it just would need a little bit of... Uh, I'm going to look at the other doors here too. Might just need a little TLC in the body shop to get some of that sealed off and cleaned up a bit passenger side does look a little bit better that's the passenger rear so that gives you an idea um, power seat on the passenger side as well and of course the driver's seat so um, vehicle's got memory seating it's got Dolby Digital uh, as far as the sound system is concerned, it's got the uh, the sunroof and, of course, a backup camera there. And there's going to be, of course, some other features like navigation. You control your sound, radio, all that stuff. You've got a heated steering wheel and um, a few other features here right on the steering wheel. So um, I haven't taken this vehicle on the road, but from what I can tell, 
Here's a shot of the back seat. From what I can tell of this vehicle, you've got uh, the interior looks to be in pretty good overall shape. It needs to be cleaned. We haven't given it to the guys in the back to detail it yet, so it will be even cleaner than what I'm seeing now. Uh, looks like mainly just needs to be vacuumed more than anything else. So um, as far as, as this vehicle's, uh, um, you know, the brakes and the transmission, like I said, I haven't driven it on the road, um, but from what I can tell, uh, going up to say 30 miles an hour or so in the parking lot, it uh, everything seems to be shifting okay and that is something you know with it being at 117,000 we're gonna make sure it shifts it stops that it's safe um, any safety type components that are you know don't check out we would have replaced you know for example like a tie rod or ball joint anything of that nature which I wouldn't expect you know it's not got that many miles on it so um, thanks for uh, watching the video I do hope you like it and uh, let me know if there's any other questions on this vehicle you might have